what's up you guys? My name is Felicia and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a story time about a job that I had. Um, so, I just graduated, like, not literally just graduated, I graduated in um, May, but uh, I had a job from March to May. And I worked the Golden Corral in Rosenberg um, before I moved here to Cyprus. So, I had this manager. I mean, I, I liked the job because of the people who I was around. Like, I had some friends from school there that I worked with, and they were really nice, you know? Like, that's the only reason why I stayed for so long until I graduated. Um, I got this job so I could support my daughter. And that will be a different video about my daughter soon, like, probably like a few days after I upload this one. Um. <sighs> So, this job that I had, it, it was great uh, for a while, so I, I was looking for a job ever since I moved to Rosen, moved back to Rosenberg from Cyprus. Um, so, this is where the manager comes in. So, uh, this manager's name is Johnny. Um, he was a manager at CC's Pizza and I applied at CC's Pizza and he said, Oh, yeah, we're good. I'm going to give you the job and I'm going to call you whenever you're going to be on the schedule. I waited for so long to get on that schedule. It doesn't take, like, months to get somebody on a schedule, Johnny. Um, so, I kept going back every week. Hey, am I going to get a uniform or whatever? He said, yeah, you're going to get it in a few, like, soon and blah, blah, blah. I never get it, so I finally give up, okay? So few months later, after waiting for so long, I go and I apply at Golden Corral. Guess who's the manager there? Johnny. Johnny's the manager. And I look different because I had red hair at the time whenever I applied to CC's Pizza, you know. And I dyed my hair black. Um, in order, like, just to get rid of the red. I don't know. I dyed my hair a lot. Um, so... He does not recognize me at all. Not one bit. And I get the job at Golden Crow. Yay! But here's where everything goes downhill. Johnny was a really bad manager. He did not care about anybody at all. He did not care about my feelings. He was horrible to the female staff. I've had friends, like, my friend, I do not, I'm not going to reveal her name because I have not asked her if I can reveal her name. Let's say her name is Sarah. Okay. Sarah told me that he was touching her all over, you know, and calling her a baby and all this stuff. And that's not okay for a manager to call an underage child. I'm not going to say child. An underage woman. I am sorry for calling you a child. I love you. Um. For calling an underage child baby. That's not okay. Um, and, like, I was not comfortable with him touching me at all. Like, he was like, like, ugh. I don't like him at all. So the days that he worked was dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. So, one day... I had went to a friend's show. I went to my friend, uh, my friend's an Imperial uh, Affliction show. And some stuff happened, which I will talk about in another video. And the next day, uh, he calls me whenever I'm at the show. And he asked me if I could come in the next day. I'm like, yeah, sure. This is before a lot of stuff went down. Um, so I go in the next day and I'm not in the right state I'm not in the right state of mind you know cuz I, I was not mentally stable at all for what just happened and he told me to get over it and to go work and that is pretty much my fault um so I go to the work and I like I'm stressed out enough at this point from school having like finish like try to get all my assignments in on, on time and trying to save up money to pay my dues so I can get my cap and gown so I can pay for prom and all this other stuff 
and um, I I just lose it. I lose it. And he's like, uh, well, he tells me like, I don't pick up the pace or whatever. That it, or I actually wanted to go home. He said, if you go home right now, you're fired because it was lunch rush, you know. And legally, if you are not mentally stable, you are not supposed to work. The manager's not supposed to make you work at all. It is wrong. So, um, I tried calling corporate, but corporate never answers their phone at all. And I tried reporting him. I sent them an email. They never sent me one back. And whenever I try to call, like, you can't, you can't, you literally cannot find corporate's actual number. So, which sucks. I know. Um, so, my, there is this manager that I like a lot. He, um, I'm not going to really reveal his name. Um, but he's, like, there was two nice managers and Johnny was the bad one. Um, so, um... He, uh, Johnny tried to fire him because I wanted him to leave. And he was going to send me home. And then the nice manager told me he could not do that. I think he told me that he couldn't do that to, like, fire me. So he was like, you can go home. I said, what now? I'm fired? He's like, no. You just need to go home. I was like, okay. So I walk out and I, I lose it. I cry. I start crying. I call my best friend. Um, and she, she's at work at this, at this point. I didn't know she was at work. She answered her phone and she said that she knew she had to answer the phone because she knew what I just went through. And she needed to know if I was okay. And obviously I wasn't. I was not okay. Because, I mean, I just got sent home. For, like, not being in the right state of mind. Which he should have sent me home when I told him what happened. Instead of saying, oh, get over it. You know. So, a few weeks passed by. I, I, don't, I don't like smiling. Because I don't like my teeth. You know. I don't like my smile. I don't like anything about myself. I am. No. Um, so, he, he comes up to me, he's like, come here, Felicia, come here. You need a fucking smile. Who do you think you're talking to? Um, for one, do not tell me that I need to fucking smile. What you could do is say, come here, Felicia, I need you to please smile for me. Thank you. And... Instead of just saying that I need a fucking smile, like cussing at me? <laughs> That's gonna make me smile. Hmm. Wow. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Johnny, for making me smile. Ooh. Okay, so. <sighs> I have to have a babysitter. Like, my grandma has to watch her, and they know. I'm not supposed to work on Saturdays when I was in Rosenberg. They know I'm not supposed to work on Saturdays, but what did they do? <laughs> Put me on the schedule for Saturday. Um, it was Saturday after I graduated, okay? <sighs> so, I mean, I'm out with my family. I'm celebrating. I'm out of town. They're like, oh, you need to come in. I was like, one, I don't have a babysitter. Two, I'm out of town. Oh, well, you need to come in. I was like, I don't have a babysitter. Oh, not having a babysitter isn't an excuse. I'm sorry. Do you want me to bring her to work with me? Because I'll do that. But where is she going to go? Where is she going to Where is she going to go? She, she does not sit still. She's two years old. She does not sit still. Are you kidding me? So... Monday comes along, the next Monday, um, May 29th. I walk in there and I feel so bad because it was a nice manager. I, I did not want to do this. I wanted Johnny to be there. I walk in and I'm like, here, I'm leaving. I have to move anyways. I'm moving like tomorrow, so peace out. And I left. And ooh, I, I was so nervous to do that because I, I don't like... I don't like being mean to people. I'm a, such a nice person. I don't like being mean. I hate it. So, doing it to the nice manager was really bad. It made me, like, nervous. I was like, uh, hey, I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I quit. Sorry. And then my friends were there. And I was like, I just quit. I was so happy that I quit. And I told them, I texted one of my friends that I work with. Um, 
I was like, yo, dude, I just quit. He said, no way. Like, you didn't quit. You've been, tell you've been telling me that you're going to quit for like the longest time. I was like, I finally had enough. I've had enough of all the bullshit that I had to go through. So, um, that's my story time about working at Golden Corral. Like, subscribe, comment some more video ideas down below. Make sure to uh, click the bell icon so you can know every time I post.